So in this video I've been thinking about going back to basics. Back to basics, camping when you were younger with your friends, in a little bit of woodland, maybe a field, or your mate's back garden. I did that a lot when I was younger. I started thinking to myself, how can I go back to basics where everything's not fancy? You know, no fancy meals, just me, a tent, and a simple evening meal. And I thought to myself, why not? I can do it because I used to do it. So this is what this video is all about. Going back to basics. Basic. Going back to basic. Going back to basics. Going back to basic. Sounds a little bit better there, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to do this camp how we camped when we were younger. Beautiful. I can see here somebody's already walked through. So we're just gonna go on them foot areas. And it looked like they turned up this way here. So it looked like there's just some uh, tents being abandoned down here. One, two, three, four tents. Yeah. Hello? Nobody in them. Doors are opened. A lot of rubbish. Yeah, there we go. Well. This says a lot. They've been doing them uh, balloon things. Yeah. Quite of a bottle of smell off there, vodka. That's the fire pit. Not the uh, the best of things to do, is it? Really? So this really annoys me, and I think it annoys a lot of other people on YouTube that do this outdoor camping and stuff. Clearly, no sleeping bags, no air mats. So I don't think they're intending to stay out overnight, unless they thought they'd just get that absolutely gone out of their heads and full of alcohol but they don't need to uh, sleeping bags and stuff cheap tents it makes me wonder you know them budget camping videos that I'm doing are they causing more harm than good <laughs> I, I'm not saying they watch my videos but what if there's a possibility they do now I've got to admit, but I could be part to blame for this. I know it might sound silly. Honestly, it might sound silly. Anyway, here's the plan. Yeah, the fire is still hot. Yeah. This is definitely a last night's camp. So what I'm planning on doing is finding somewhere at the very far back of the woods to set up my little tent. I'm just gonna wait and see if they come back overnight. If they do, I might uh, see if I can have a little talk to them. You know, and just put it across, but it's probably the wrong thing to do. I'm not firing them, I'm not trying to lay it low down or out. It's just wrong to treat it like that, innit? Keep earning voices. 
Ohne ist da Heide. They don't want to be that close. They're only there. I want to be a little bit further away from that, so I think I took the wrong turn in then. Let's head back. I'm not going to camp down that way now. I'm going to go a little bit out of the way because, end of the day, I don't know if it's still going to be off the heads and full of alcohol, do I? Last thing I want is trouble with a bunch of teenagers. So, just making my way through winter here. This will do. Someone's been digging away. Oh, someone's written the name on it. Anyway, thinking there's going to be a good spot to camp. You know what? I'm just going to leave them lot alone. I'm not going to go down. End it there. Who am I to tell them they can't go? Filling their brains full of gases and stuff like that. We all have a drink. I know that. But them balloon things, whatever they're called. Unless it's one of my kids. Family members, I don't really care. I'm not the dad. Right. So let's get on with this camp. I've got a tent from OEX now this tent I've had a couple of about a year let's say I brought in a bundle pack of six tents for under a pound this is actually one of the better tents so we'll be using that and in one of the last videos somewhere on about have you tried that bomb bad boy hang on what's it called Bombay bad boy pot noodle yet I like no he says you need to do do it on camera. So I thought, you know what? Let's get one. Let's have a go. I've got my little stove as well. I did a video of it previously. You know, someone's going to probably say, is that it? A pot noodle for your tea? I've already had my tea. It's like six o'clock at night now. But I'm like everybody else. You know, I get paid and then uh, we pay all those bills and get the bits that we need, I spend a little bit of money and then uh, just go through life, you know what I mean? So, end of each month, I don't have money left over. No savings, right? Probably sounds a bit poor, that, doesn't it? But it's the only the truth. I don't, I don't think about having savings because end of the day, I could have 10 grand in bank. I could get, you know, killed tomorrow. I could die tomorrow. What good's that been to me? I'll be gone, who cares? So, yeah, I'm same as everybody else, like a lot of people. Month to month, just enjoying my life. My kids left home, I'd be a lot richer. <laughs> I don't want them to go. These summer nights, perfect for these types of videos. You can just come out, set up slowly, mind your own business, and uh, have a nice camp. So this stove, if you subscribe to my channel, you would have seen me. Oh, I uploaded a video of it a day or two ago. I want to use it again. Now, some people said it's not the cheapest on Amazon. When I had a look on Amazon, I couldn't find anyone, any stoves cheaper. And people started sending me links to these stoves that were like a eleven ninety nine. But I did explain to one fella. He said you can get an all-purpose one where you can put wood in it, you can put a gas stove, and then you can put a tray for alcohol fuel. Well, I wasn't looking for one like that. I was looking for one just like this, where you can, you know, mainly put wood in it. I'm just trying to get it all together. It's a bit of a pain once it's been used. There we go. A little Xada stove. We'll have a fire in that, I think. Boil some water for drinks for my. Uh, Bad boy pot noodle. 
Now, if you're one of them, uh, my viewers on my channel, keep asking where's Scott and Dan. Well, I think you can tell by the way it's gone what's happened to him. Yeah, they've just disappeared, really. I get a message off them now and again. That's it. I tried to message him, I get a reply a few days later. It is the way it is, isn't it? People come and go in your lights. You just got to get on with it. One thing I'll always say, and everyone needs to listen to this, is don't let nobody slow you down. Nobody. If you want to do something, get out and get it done. If you want to go somewhere, go somewhere. Just because you're mates and someone might say no, just go. You don't have to wait for people. Because people with no ambition will slow you down. Now, I'm not saying Scott and Dan had no ambition. What I'm saying is there's people out there that will slow you down on purpose. And they'll try to piggyback off you as well quite a bit. You need to break away from them people. Yeah. So yeah, so Scott and Dan's just gone their own ways about looks of it now. You know, I'm going to set this tent up so you can see the colour of it. Now this Fox 110, I'm not sure which order it came out in, I think, I know the original Fox 1 were in black and then they released it in the EV range, so that's the lighter one, and then they got it out in like the different greeny colour to this one, familiar but different, the material's different as well, and the ground sheet, this is, remember over there when I showed the video of the Hyena 2? This has got that same noisy floor sheet, so I take it this is a cheaper version of the Fox one. So that's something I never knew. So I am hoping the Hyena 2, a few videos down from this, I hope they make a more expensive model of that. Something what's a lot more robust and stronger for high winds and stuff. You can check that video out if you want, it's a few videos down from this. So really, I've got to stick my air mat in, lay my sleeping bag out, then we set up already. It's not really the best idea blowing this up with your breath, because all your heat in your breath can cause condensation on the inside of the mat, and it can get wet on the inside. You should have one of them little pumps, really. I've got one, but I forgot it. So it's doing it by my mouth, it's just the way it goes. The new uh, OEX air mat, that's got the bag, you know, it opens up to the air pump in it. This will never have that. It's just a little bag like that, really. There we go. Now, I do have two of these mats. I know one goes down. But I never really highlighted on the bag which one it was. So I'm just hoping it won't this one. So if you haven't realised, I'm probably going with the full OEX camping setup tonight. Why not, eh? Why not? One thing that always makes a difference, a decent pillar. Pull out there, 
I know where it is later on when I need it. You know, solo camping, because you've got no one to talk to, really helps you think about things what could be causing you problems. Like, if I go over to them kids later if they come back, like I've already said, what business is it of mine and what they're doing? Just leave them to it. What I will do is, I'll, uh, in the morning, I wander down there, and if they haven't returned, I'd, I'd heard them if they come back overnight. So, if they don't return back by the morning, I'll come back tomorrow night with a few black bags, and I'll pick all that mess up, and I'll take it home and put it in the bin because it's just we don't want to leave that there like that, really. I'm going to have to get a lot of this wood because it's so dry. It's not going to take long to burn either. I just want to uh, as well say thank you to all my new subscribers. Been getting a lot again. It's unbelievable. It's crazy where you're all coming from. And it's still nice seeing all my old subscribers commenting. I've seen a lot of new ones commenting over the last uh, week. It's fantastic, thank you. If you like what you're seeing and you're not yet a follower of my channel, do consider following me. You can just hit that subscribe button, press the bell. I'm just, I get overwhelmed sometimes when I, how many people want to follow me, you know, and watch the stuff I get up to. I got my drone, so I better fly my drone when I go places now, you know, like camping it, you know, far away. I'll tell you a story about that drone actually, I got it from Amazon and then when it got delivered I opened it up and it was some skincare product instead of a 400 pound drone and I was like wow this is not good so my partner got on contact with Amazon and then they says oh you got to return it so we returned it and then it didn't turn up in the warehouse and then, uh, then they found it and the next person didn't find it one person said oh you'll get your money back as soon as we receive the items you didn't want back and then uh my partner ran back up and said well where's the money and they says oh it could take up to 30 days now you know so we don't hesitate to pay them they send out us a completely wrong item completely the wrong item and then they expect us to wait the 30 days and because they're such a massive company where do we stand nowhere we just got to get on with it let me know if that's happened to you or you got my drone and i got your skin stuff whatever it's called <laughs> yeah let me know if all like that's happened to you as well yeah you can comment below if you want so yeah i ended up getting one off uh curries and that came the next day and everything was there the drone the lot it's a shame really for amazon to do things like that because they're a massive business aren't they a shame right i'm just talking away for the hell of it i thought i'd tell you that drone story i'm gonna collect some more wood because this is that dry it's just gonna burn in no time at all So I've got some of this stuff here called magnesium powder. As soon as this gets a spark to it, it takes, I can't explain what happens. I know it goes bright white, but then the heat of it can start the fire. 
I don't understand it completely, so I've seen it on other YouTube channels and I got this off a, another fella about a year ago. So what I need to do is build the bottom of the stove up with like leaves and stuff like that. Because it's so dry, I'm hoping this helps take the flame all right as well. We'll put some little bits in here. Like that. That didn't take long. And there was just a, a very little bit as well. There wasn't too much in there. Somehow we need to get these pot holders back on. There we go. You know, we're just reading this pot noodle. <laughs> and it says, turn bad boy in four minutes. Is that how long it takes you to eat one of these? Have you had one of these? Let me know in the comments below if you've had one of these pot noodles and let me know what's your favorite flavor. Mine at the moment, I've got that sticky spare rib one. It used to be sweet and sour. Let me know in the comments below which is your best one, but Wow, <laughs> that's got some smell to it. Add more hot sauce. How hot is this noodle? <laughs> Unleash what's inside. Is this like a, a waiver? Do you have to sign a waiver to eat this one? Let's have a little taste there. Smells quite sweet. Yeah, it smells sweet. Wow. That is not sweet. That's got some kick to it. It worries me because that said add more hot sauce. So how, how hot is this by itself? Whew. This is gonna be interesting, isn't it? I'm blowing my tongue. <laughs> Why do I listen? <sighs> nice cup of coffee.
seems like the wind's picking up a little bit now. I put my bag up in tree off at four. Might be a good idea to do that. So I was gonna say, you know, I'm not far away from home to be truthful. I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know, I'm at Lake Districts, you know, I'm here there and everywhere. I'm not that at all. I'm about 10, 15 minutes walk away from home. You know, I say a lot on this channel is get up, get out and be that person. I was bored, to be true for you. So, missus has come down with sunstroke. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get up and get out. I say it a lot. Do what I preach. Why not preach? I don't know. Whatever. I'm just got up and got out. That's exactly what I'm trying to say to you. Right. It's time to warm some more water up. And we're going to need quite a bit this time because we're going to have that pot noodle. Right, well here we go. Let's pour some of this water into the pot noodle. Let's see if I'm burning myself, that is for sure anyway. I can't get a decent Maybe that should be alright, shouldn't it? Hope I don't need more water. That seems to be above the line that it says. Let's close that off and leave it a couple of minutes. Right then. Let's give this pot noodle a go. I'm going to taste some first before I add the sauce to it. <laughs> you know, I do feel a bit of a wimp here. Should be sponsored by pot noodles, shouldn't I? I know someone was going to say that. I'm trying to get sponsored by pot noodle. <laughs> it happens. Honestly, you could you could show a tea bag and someone say he's trying to get sponsored by a tea bag company. So it's not too bad like that. I could eat that. Now it's for the sauce. I bet some of you lot are going, no, damn, don't do it, stop. <laughs> I just know by all your previous comments and stuff like that. Right. Let's mix it in. <laughs> so it's all about being outdoors and just getting on with it. Give it a really good mix. Yeah, you can smell the difference there. <laughs> you can smell that. Uh, chili sauce, let's say. Get focus right. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of spice here. I'll tell you what, I tip my hat off to anybody what can heat, heat, <laughs> eat something hotter than this. By God, it's only a pot noodle. Hmm. 
Bring back the chicken and mushroom. <laughs> My God. Do you, are you somebody who seriously eats these pot noodles? Just comment below and just say, yeah, if you want. I don't care if you want to give me abuse. Because <laughs> this is absolutely red hot for me. Oh, I'm going to keep going. It's my tea. <laughs> I don't want to be hungry. Mind you, I don't have any toilet roll either, just in case it comes, you know, back out a bit warmer. <laughs> Oh my god, this is red hot. I'll tell you a story, you know. <coughs> I've eaten uh, Trinidad scorpion chilies, ghost chilies, Scots bonnets, uh, a Jamaican chili. All the hottest chilies in the world. Me and my brother in law, we had a YouTube channel where we used to eat them. Yeah, they're about 3 million score fields in heat. I don't know how I managed it. So now I'm struggling with a, a bad boy bomb. Bombay bad boy pot noodle. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry if I look a wimp, but this is spicy. I always say I'm down to earth, I keep it real. And this is about as close as we can get. <laughs> I keep thinking to myself, if I eat it quick enough, get it over and done with quicker. Right, I'm gonna go away and suffer and eat this slowly. So, if you ever get one of these stoves, as long as you can see a bit of ember at the bottom glowing, all you have to do is stick these small little bits in like this. And because they're nice and dry anyway, fill it up and what will happen is they'll they'll light soon they'll take flame and put a couple of you know bigger ones on top just sort of got something to burn to Yeah, I'll bring you back and I'll let you know exactly how long that's taken to relight to a decent flame. So there you go, it took around about a minute for it to kick back in. Now I'll keep this feeding with decent pieces of wood now. Then it should be alright for a couple of hours if I keep feeding away like this. Just to be very realistic about the situation is this fire is the only thing I've got to do. I've got no one to talk to. Oh well. Uh, I've had my dinner even though I wasn't hungry, I just wanted to get it eaten. That's the only thing I've got to do now. Sit around and keep my fire going. But there's no better that I could be doing right now than being out camping like this. Well, I'm just laying in my tent now, really. That's right, so it, a minute, there's not much I can do. I brought my stove a lot closer. Got my little stash of wood there so I can sit here feeding the wood into my stove. 
being happy really it's all what matters in life I'm being honest if you don't do this sort of thing and you're thinking about it get up get out and be that person because once you've done it you'll love it honestly best time of year to do it now because like I say it's late nights if you get set up and nerves kicking or you know you just don't think it's the right time you can just pack away and go home you don't have to wait till it's pitch black you can just do everything now it's the best time of the year to start this really is I enjoy it honestly right so I've come back down to have a look no one's here so it doesn't look like the kids are returning back so I'll so come back tomorrow once I go home and uh, bring a black bag and take these tents away Right, well, it's half past nine, it's starting to get dark now. I'm tired, I'm just sort of like trying to stay awake for no reason really. I just keep feeding the fire with wood, it's the only thing I've got to do. So I'm going to probably put some podcasts on, listen to them. So, if you're interested, I'll listen to Uncanny on BBC Sounds, so you can check that out if you want. You have to go on BBC Sounds podcasting app. It's a lot like, like ghostly stories and aliens and Bigfoots and stuff, all that sort of rubbish. But yeah, I'm gonna settle down for night. So if all happens, I'll bring you back. No night. Well, Quarter to seven. I never sleep very well. I know I get it asked a lot. I don't know I'm like talking in the morning because my throat's very deeper, let's say. I'm looking back on the footage last night while well, I put you no know, editing video away on my phone. Uh this magnesium powder. I showed it on fire, but I never showed, you know, lighting it and stuff and the bright sparks that I run about. So I'm gonna make myself a drink and uh give me a second. And I'll try to remember to press record on this. Right, so I've got a bed of dried leaves, dead leaves, and then some thinner pieces of wood at the bottom and some at the top. So now what I need to do is try and pour some of this. So there's a little pile of powder there, isn't there? And this is where I need to. There we go. That's exactly how it works. And that is so hot now, it's got like a hard lump of heat. And that'll burn for a little bit and set fire to the leaves and the sticks around it. You know, a funny story. I got up for a wee, I think about four o'clock in the morning, and I fell over my guideline. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I ripped the top of my tent there. So I was trying to find my phone so I can use it as a light. And just going for a wee became about a 20 minute problem. So I learned not to have these pointing directly in your walk area have it pointing away so you're not falling over it. I've been doing this outdoor camping for a long time. 
and still every time I come out I'm always you know having a problem or learning things it's just you never you never uh, stop learning that was just one of them things but I thought damn because say so far I ripped all the stitching here they don't seem to be all right uh, damaged sorry but yeah I went straight over <laughs> you know when you hurt yourself and you're walking around going I was doing that, but obviously a bit louder. <laughs> I did it last week, I banged my toe. Uh, I can't remember what I'm building. I'm building something up anyway, or barbecue. And it had steel wheels, and I banged my toes right on it. That made me bloody scream a bit. It's horrible, isn't it? But yeah, I'm glad this little tent didn't get ruined. Beautiful colour for this sort of stuff. You know, like camping in a bunch of trees, somewhere like that. You know, there's one true thing. When you solo camp, I believe you hear a lot more noises than you do when you're camping with a friend or with friends, let's say. Sun's shining now, isn't it? I think when you're with people, because you chat that much and you sit there talking, having a laugh and having a showing each other things on your phones and equipment and stuff, I think it just completely takes your mind off where you are. But over this little trip being outdoors like this, I just say so much. It's, I won't say it's weird, it's just great how there's such a difference from being by yourself to being with somebody. Because I'm, I'm just going to be sitting here drinking my uh, coffee. I uh, just heard noises that I wouldn't really normally hear. It's the boogie man. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have this drink, pack some stuff up, and then we'll go down there, and then we'll see if them kids came back. So I took a photo of how things were, so I better see if anyone's moved anything, if they've come back looking for something. So cheers. <laughs> Having a crack in there. Let's go see what these kids are being up to. Right, so I were in that little spot there. That is a definitely leave no trace policy. Wouldn't have even known that I've been there. Let's go see how these kids are doing. So they've not been back at all. Everything stayed the same. So this just means now I'm going to come down later on with a rubbish bag or for one of my American viewers a trash bag and take all these away right so that's the end of my camp I'll come down later on this evening in fact still there and clean it all up here's what it is innit I don't need any of them tents so I'll just throw them straight in the bin can't do all about it, you know. You can sit here all day, try to catch them doing it and leaving all the rubbish, but it's just part of life, innit? Some people have no respect. Right, I'm gonna get off anyway. If you like this video and you want to see more of me, you can hit this here by subscribing to my channel, or you can view that as well. I'll let YouTube recommend something there for you. But for now, 
Thanks for watching and I'll definitely see you next time.